years that I've been working with Indian classical music. What is, uh, what is involved here is y you have improvisation, but you also have a structure. So it's very much like jazz, where you, you have a form that you're working with, and within that form, you're free to take off in a lot of different directions. Uh, and that's where the, where the practice comes in, is developing the skills to be able to be free enough within a structured form to create something new. So that's a secret, actually, that you have to practice a lot to be completely free to express yourself at the moment. Well, I do. I mean, there are some musicians maybe that are so good that they don't have to practice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you're, let's talk a little bit about the song, because it's going down uh, quickly. Yes. You, you still rise really early? Yes. Yeah, I, I'm, I like my uh, mornings reserved for Indian music practice because that's, in Indian classical music, that's the renewal of the day, which is like a renewal of your life. So if you work with the ragas that are structured for that, every morning it becomes a very special experience of greeting the day with a, with a sense of, of renewal, that it's a new day, a whole new set of possibilities are, are there, and you experience them through the music of that time. And you raise, um, at, you, you start your first raga at which time? At 5 o'clock? Well, it's, it really varies. You know, when you're, for instance, now I'm on tour, so I don't have my normal lifestyle. I'm living in hotel rooms and I'm rehearsing, and sometimes I'll be playing concerts late at night, so uh, it varies. But when I'm at home, yes, I like, to, I'm always up by, the, by sunrise, and usually before I like getting up in the dark. and experiencing the sunrise, uh, experiencing the change of light. And, and because music in India especially is connected to nature, so the feelings that arise in the ragas have to do with the times of day and the seasons. So as you're practicing the music, you're, you become aware of, of these natural elements. So you also teach you to, to become aware of nature more, of, of the the phase and the in the seasons you are in. Yeah, I mean, I, I live in the I live in the mountains of California, so I actually am learning a lot from the lizards that crawl around on the ground and the birds and uh, the small animals, squirrels and chipmunks, and uh, because all these animals have rhythms and movements and characteristics which uh, can easily find their way into music. And so.